Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, I'm going to share the demonstration of Structural Engineering Laboratory CS511 on 3 hinge arch level 1. As an introduction, an arch may be locked upon as a curved girder, either a solid rib or brace supported at its end and carrying transverse load which are frequently vertical. Since the transverse loading at any section normal to the axis of the girder is at an angle to the normal face, an arch is subjected to three restraining forces, which is thrust, shear force, and bending moment. Depending upon the numbers of hinge, arch may be divided into four classes, which is three hinge arch, two hinge arch, single hinge arch, and a thick Arch. A three hinge arch is statically determined structure while the rest three arch are statically indeterminate. In bridge construction, especially in railroad bridges, the more used arch are two hinge and the fixed and one. The figure shows the three hinge experimental setup. In order to determine the horizontal thrust value, it is given by HA equal to WKL over 2H, where W is the point load, K is the distance from the support to the point load, and L is the span length. H is the height of the arch. The objective of this experimental work is to study 3 hinge arch for the horizontal thrust of the roller and for a given system of loading and to compare the same with those obtained analytically. As the learning outcome at the end of this experimental work, students should be able to determine the relationship between applied load and the horizontal thrust at the support of a 3-hinge parabolic arch. Analyze 3-hinge arch for external loading, compute horizontal reaction in 3-hinge arch, and realize the application of the 3-hinge arch in structure engineering. As a problem statement, in the case of 3 hinge arch, we have 3 hinge, 2 at the support and 1 at the crown, thus making it statically determinate structure. There are 4 reaction components in the 3 hinge arch, where as shown in the figure R1x, R2x, R1y and R2y. One more equation is required in addition to three equations of static equilibrium for evaluating the four reaction component. Taking moment about the hinge of all the forces acting on either side of the hinge can set up the required equation. In 3 hinge arch, we can apply two types of loading, which is point load and uniformly distributed load. Today, we are going to demonstrate how to do an experimental work for 3 hinge arch experiment. So here are the apparatus for 3 hinge arch. 
Before that, I'm going to introduce this apparatus. Here are the three hinge arch consists of three support. One, two, and another hinge here. And then here is the span. Here is the load hanger. And then we have another few things that we have to know, which is this is the digital indicator. We have the load. So this is for the point load. Here is another apply load that we can use as uniformly distributed load. In order to start this experimental, first one, we have to make sure that this apparatus is on. So please make sure we tear and set the reading here is zero. And then we have to measure using a ruler the span of the arch. And then the height of the arch from this span to the crown. Next, we have to measure the thickness of the arch by using digital clipper. In order to apply load to the three hinge arch, there is two types of load that we can apply. The first one is point load. The second one is uniformly distributed load. In order to apply point load, we may choose either we would like to apply okay, at the first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point, sixth point, or all the point. It's up to you, but please choose at least two point. Okay, in order for you to get the horizontal forces or reaction. Okay. In my case here, okay, I would like to choose two points that is the third and also the fifth point here. Then, I apply five newton for the first reading of loading. Don't forget to measure the length from the support to the load that you apply for both loading. Another thing is, I also would like to apply uniformly distributed load along this arch by using this uniformly distributed load apparatus. So all the forces will be read by using this digital indicator. This reading shows 16.1. Okay, we, we have to wait until it's stable. So if it is shows the result, for example, 16.1 Newton, it is the horizontal reaction of the three hinge arch. You have to repeat the same process again for five times in order to get a different result. That's it for the experimental for three hinge arch. Thank you. Here are the data shows the experimental result for three hinge arch. The measurement is shown in the table for the span of the arch, height of the arch, distance from support to point load 2 and distance from support to point load 5 because this example will apply the point load at point 2 and also point 5. For this experimental work, it will have three different cases which is the case one applying the uniformly distributed load to the arch second one 
applying point load to the arch and the last one which is the case 3 is applying uniformly distributed load and point load to the arch therefore the result it shows in a case 1 for the uniformly distributed load case 2 is the result for the point load and case 3 for the uniformly distributed load and point load therefore all of you have to analyze the result and prepare the report where each group is required to prepare the experimental report based on the data given that obtained from the experimental work. The analysis should be interpret the data and include all the analysis and calculation of the needed answer. For the conclusion, the discussion of the laboratory work must be reflecting with respect to the objective of the experimental work. Here is some of the application of three hinge arch. The first one is the VR viaduct bridge front. The VR viaduct is a three hinge steel arch bridge allowing train to cross the Tan River. The central hinge is discernible from quite far away. The second application is the Salginetobal Bridge at Switzerland. This bridge was designed by Robert Mallet. The three-hinge hollow bore arch concept of reinforced concrete was completed in 1930. This bridge is also known as a Swiss heritage site and an international historical civil engineering landmark. Last but not least is a Berlin Alexander Platt station at Germany where the application of three hinge arch is used as arch supported roof structure of the building that was designed using this method. Thank you.